Today's topic is irritant diaper dermatitis. Irritant diaper dermatitis refers to skin inflammation in the diaper area that is caused by various skin disorders and or irritants, which commonly occurs on a baby's bottom. It is one of the most common skin problems in infants and children. Irritant diaper dermatitis occurs mostly in babies, though anyone who wears diaper regularly can develop the condition. It is generally seen on the buttocks, lower abdomen, genitals, and upper thighs. It is not usually a serious condition, but can be very painful for the baby and distressing for parents. Causes Constant exposure to urine and stool can erode the baby's skin, resulting in irritant diaper dermatitis. This is often because babies have very sensitive and fragile skin. If the baby is suffering from diarrhea or have frequent bowel movements, this may increase the risk of having the condition. Wearing tight-fitting clothes or diaper which rub on the baby's skin can result in the condition. Changing the brand or using new baby products, including wet wipes, bleach, detergents, lotions, powders, diapers, or fabric softener used to launder cloth diapers can erode the baby's sensitive skin. Babies with a skin condition such as eczema or atopic dermatitis are more vulnerable. As babies are introduced to solid foods, the composition of the stool changes and can increase the frequency of bowel movements. This increases the likelihood of the condition. If the baby is taking antibiotics, antibiotics kill both good and bad bacteria. Taking antibiotics may reduce the bacteria that keep yeast growth in check, resulting in inflammation. A breastfeeding mother taking antibiotics may also make the baby vulnerable. Symptoms Red, tender-looking and puffy areas in the diaper region, the genitals, buttocks and thighs. The baby may become more uncomfortable than usual, cries a lot during diaper changes, or when the diaper area is washed or touched. If the following symptoms occur, the baby may need medical intervention. The inflammation is severe or worsens, is accompanied by fever, bleeds, itches, or oozes, the presence of boils or blisters, spreads beyond the diaper region. Treatment. Treatment is very simple, and the best form of treatment is to keep the baby's diaper region as clean and dry as possible. The diapers should be checked as soon as they are wet or soiled. This should be done frequently. If these simple treatment options do not work, the doctor may prescribe medicines, such as mild hydrocortisone cream, antifungal cream, if the cause is fungal infection, or oral antibiotics if the baby has bacterial infection. Creams or ointments containing steroids are not recommended unless if prescribed by the doctor. To aid healing, do all you can to increase airflow to the diaper region. This can be done by letting the baby do without a diaper and ointment for short periods of time, such as during naps. Using diaper that is larger than usual may also help. It usually takes days for the condition to improve. However, if the condition persists despite prescription treatment, your doctor may suggest that your baby see a dermatologist. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.